Hello, how are you? I'm Jason Harris and today I'm here to show you this fantastic trike from HP Velotechnic, the Scorpion FS. It has suspension on all three wheels, superbly built and very well equipped. It is fitted with a pinion gear system on the bottom bracket and with a Neo Drive's rear wheel. Stay with us if you want to watch it all. The Scorpion FS20 is a compact trike with full suspension and folding system as its main standard features. The comfort of riding a trike is improved by a suspension system that feels like riding on an air mattress, smoothing out any unevenness in the ground. It is a pleasure to cycle anywhere, regardless of whether you prefer asphalt or gravel paths. The rear shock is the same sort as used on most bicycles. This one here is the basic suspension provided by HP Velotechnic, a DNM DV22. It does its job perfectly well, but it is heavier than an air suspension and cannot be locked out, nor does it offer rebound adjustment. The front suspension is based on springs and elastomers that regulate the rebound. The damping system designed by HP Velotechnic uses stabilizer bars to prevent one side from being compressed by the weight, while the opposite side decompresses when cornering, thus increasing the risk of tipping over. This bar links both front suspensions and prevents them from working totally separately from one another. Like most HP Velotechnic trikes, one of the features of the Scorpion FS is that it is foldable and the folding is very easy and quick to perform. This seat is the ErgoMesh, HP Velotechnic's mesh seat. The mesh offers optimal breathability and the side pads increase back comfort. The tightness of the mesh can be adjusted using the straps on the back and bottom of the seat. This Scorpion FS is fitted with a parking brake for the rear wheel. This component is good to have in order to be able to immobilize the trike when we want to sit on or stand up from the seat and also prevents the trike from moving on its own on slopes or in strong gusts of wind. The optional anti-theft lock on the rear wheel allows immobilization of the trike. This system is recommended for situations in which we leave the trike temporarily parked preferably within our sight. The most interesting components mounted on this trike are in the transmission set. A pinion gear system in combination with the Neo Drive's rear motor. The pinion C112 is an internal gear system that, as opposed to most others, is mounted on the bottom bracket. It is a 12-speed gearbox that replaces the traditional triple chain ring with a single chain ring and sprocket. In this trike, we opted for this transmission system because of its ease of use and the possibility of shifting gears anytime and in any circumstance. And finally, let's talk about the engine. Since the bottom bracket was already used by the pinion, the motor had to go in the rear wheel. The Neo Drives is a German-made, gearless motor with torque sensor technology. This means that when the cyclist pedals harder, the motor gives more power and vice versa. The cyclist gets the power when needed and depending on the pedaling force.
beautiful, isn't it? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video because we can't offer you another one until at least next week. Thank you very much for watching and thank you too for subscribing to our channel. Bye-bye.